In our coronavirus coverage now, long haul truckers are seeing a unique view of the pandemic from their travels to different communities. KIDK Eyewitness News 3's Chelsea Breyer shows us their experiences from the road. We have to stay clean. The showers are one thing we need. While many of us are experiencing the pandemic through a local lens, truck drivers may see a broader picture of how the pandemic is playing out across our nation. Blair Gardner is a long haul truck driver for Kilpack Trucking in Idaho Falls. He says the first thing he noticed was emptier roads. When it first started back in March and April, it was obvious stuff going on. I mean, driving through, the traffic was like a fraction of what it normally was. Parking lots completely empty, you know, it was weird. You drive past strip malls that were completely empty in the middle of the day. It was like, where's all the people? Garner says the traffic patterns are returning to normal, but it's not quite what it used to be with so many people working from home now. Kilpack mostly hauls potatoes, but Gardner tells us the company hasn't been greatly impacted by the pandemic. It used to be we'd bring back all sorts of stuff, paper, whatever. Now it seems to always be canned foods, alcohol. <laughs> Stuff like that. He says truck stop showers shut down in March and the restaurants were closed for a very long time. I remember I was in, uh, just outside of Bismarck, North Dakota. The first time I saw one that said they were open and I walked into it because I hadn't been to one for months. Garner says he has traveled to Ohio and Kentucky where he says there are very few people not wearing their masks in public. I'd say you see it more in the West. You see it more in the west than you do in the east, definitely. Kilpack trucking long haul driver Calvin Frew says people in other states seem to take even greater precautions than we do in our local area. They wear gloves, they wear masks, and, and, and they try not to uh, uh, touch anything. I've seen a lot of that. Frew says he has heard many people talk about their battle with COVID-19. We see more uh, people around here now in our area that are, that, that are suffering from that, from COVID. Reporting in Idaho Falls, I'm Chelsea Breyer. Fru says the protests during the summer were probably the biggest roadblock truck drivers saw in 2020.